All right, this one's going to be on batch downloading uh, files based on extensions. And usually when I'm using, um, you know, my command line web browser here, I'm going to use Surfrall, and I'm going to use my LV to search for music. And let's say I search for an artist called Dido. And in here in Google, they usually have a lot of open directories that you can actually download from. And I guess it's a little bit safer than using torrents if uh, you want to do this. Uh, these are called open directories and basically they're servers that are either left open or maybe they wasn't secure enough and you know the files are here kind of like a treasure hunt I'll say for uh, these um, these files that's on uh, line that you can search for and you see here uh, you can see that there's a bunch of mp3s that you can download and there's also other junk like uh, jpegs or you know i9 files or whatever but we're not concerned with that. We just want the MP3. So how would you do this here? So I want to copy the URL here. I'm going to yank it. Uh, how do we yank this here? This one. There you go. We yank the URL, and we're going to use uh, this function that I put together. It's just called um, wget extension, and it's pretty easy to use. You just type in you know wget extension, and what extension we're going to use? We're going to use uh, mp3s in this example and we're gonna put in single quotes the URL that we just grabbed actually we're gonna go into a directory to save it here I'm gonna go into my downloads directory and this is our download directory here right so I'm gonna do that again wget mp3 and that is the URL that we're grabbing it from so all you gotta do is hit enter and basically what it's doing is downloading all the mp3s here right but I'm going to save time and cancel all of this here. But you can see that it actually creates the folder based on um, the URL. So this is the uh, the folder that it created. And inside it, you can see all the MP3s that is downloading. Right? Um, although we cancel halfway there. But you can see that you can actually play it and all that, just MP3s. Now, if... Um, let's actually delete this one here. Garbage. So we deleted, did we delete that one? No, we did delete, we did the wrong one. Let's say this one here. And now we don't have that folder no more, right? Um, if you want to just grab, uh, what, what are the example I have here? Let's say you don't want to MP3s, you just want the JPEGs and the i9 files only. Uh, you can do the same thing, what was the one called? This one, we just change it to, JPEG and to separate them you use a comma and you do like INI and it'll actually just download those two extensions from that web page only right and that's it look at that now we have look at this here right just the JPEGs and INI files and you can actually preview this too I believe there we go right um, so that's it if you want to use this uh, function what is it called here W get extension and yeah you know it's just a basically a um, what was that here this W get line that's all you gotta do and it actually creates the folders because I you know do these other extra steps here for creating the folder and the folder is based on whatever it's uh, the URL is so let's say for example the URL what the hell is the URL that we use uh, let's do that again here All right so this was the URL that we had and the last one here it's gonna take whatever is in the last um, of the URL and that's gonna create the folder based on that name so pretty much it all you gotta do is add this into your bash RC or ZSH RC and also you, you do need to have um, you know wget install but uh, I'll post this in the description if you want to use it. And this one's mainly to use it with open directories. If you don't know about open directories, they actually have a subreddit for that, if you don't believe it, where people share open directories with other people. And like I said, it's a little bit better. Well, not better, but I'll say it's like a little bit safer than torrents if you don't want to use it that way. Um, you can actually find a lot of stuff in there, like music, uh, movies, books. 
a bunch of shit that um, people share here. And or you can actually search for yourself, you know, using Google or whatever. But uh, you know, a lot of people post uh, links that they found that are open and they share them here in this uh, subreddit. Um, so you can actually go in there and look it for yourself if you want. But uh, generally, that's what I use if I ever want to download stuff from a web page or something like that real quick using wget and you know what else they have in this place five like this one it has a lot of other artists if I want to get some other artists I don't know what is this one here right and if I want to do this one I can go and I can go do the same thing wget uh, extension mp3 and let's say I do this one and it's gonna grab the mp3s for that uh, artist and their album and you see here this is the uh, mp3s that we just downloaded um, pretty quick that's what I use if I'm using just pure command line web browsing and uh, I use wget for batch downloading those extensions you know, either MP3s, if it's movies like MKV, MP4s, or whatever like that. Real quick, anyways, that's a little long explanation, but uh, hopefully you get the idea and uh, start using it if you haven't done so already. That'll be for this one.